guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm actually out here in Cancun, Mexico. Let me show you really quick. I don't know if I gave you guys a little tour. Uh, it's my balcony. I run my business basically from my phone and my computer. I could if I wanted to run my business from my phone, but I'm just more comfortable on my computer, so I like to uh, work on my computer sometimes. If I have to, I will run it on the cell phone, on my cell phone, I can, as long as I have Wi-Fi. Hey guys, listen, I uh, wanted to come on here and just say hi, and also give you an update. I don't know if I have, um, I think I made a video while I was here, I'm not sure. But I wanted to talk about traveling and inspiration. And what I think, what happens while you travel, like literally I've gotten up fucking early every single day because I want to maximize my time here, right? But also too, I've been on point with all of my habits. I've been on point with all of my habits working out. Like I'm literally in the best shape of my life. Two, I'm managing all my employees well making the most money I've ever made. Three, uh, I have the most assistance I've ever had. Just a lot of things are working, right? And <clears throat> I'm spending less time on my business than I've ever had in my life, but I'm getting the most done. Now, why? Why is that happening? I think that because I am in a amazing location, I'm inspired, like I'm inspired to wake up. I'm inspired to get in shape. I'm inspired to learn about new system. I'm inspired to implement new things. Even if I lose money, I'm inspired. I'm super inspired. And I have been for a while, to be honest. But also, I started a, uh, I'm taking the most risk I, I ever have before. You know, I literally spent 9K on a real estate mentorship. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, you can find all that shit online. But I did research on this business model, a lot of research because I've been in real estate before. I have wholesale property. Um, I was a realtor for a, for a little bit and um, I, don't know, I wouldn't even say a little bit. Yeah, I was in real estate for four years. Pretty serious. You know, some of you people, some of you guys may know me from real estate. But yeah, I was um, pretty interesting. Yeah, I used to actually run a door knocking seminar because I used to teach real estate investors how to door knock, basically. And, you know, basically how to get their foot in the door, door knocking and, and stuff like that and make offers and stuff like that. So that was pretty interesting. Like I've literally done a lot within in real estate. So the reason why I'm saying that is because, because yeah, I've done a lot in real estate, you know? So I did a lot of research on this particular uh, model and I won't go into exactly what it is because I want to become successful at it first before I tell you what it is and you know what I'm doing and stuff like that. But I did a lot of research before I even looked into this mentorship and um, it just made sense. It was like everything, it just all matched up on what I wanted. Can I travel outside the country and run this? Yes. Can I hire most of the workout? Yes. Can you make effective systems? Yes. Okay. A lot of things. Is it less competitive? Yes. What's the ROIs on there? Usually a hundred percent. You know, having a hundred percent ROI is not, uh, it's not uncommon. You know, even more than that, um, does it create passive income? Yes. So, these things really, like I did a lot of research before I even um, look, you know, looked into the mentorship itself. So I'm, so what I'm saying is 
I'm traveling, I'm taking risk. So my business is running and it's running very well. And I'm doing the best I've ever done. I'm spending the least time I've ever spent on it. I'm, all my habits are on point. I'm making shit happen. And I'm, t and I'm, you know, going into new fields. I'm hiring more people. You know, I'm, I'm hiring more people for my business. I got new marketing techniques out there that I'm using that are, I'm starting to really see some good results in. So things are growing. Things are expanding. And they've been expanding the most as of recently. Why? I believe it's because I'm inspired with my life. I'm inspired by the environment. I'm inspired by my mastermind. I'm inspired by, you know, everything. I'm, in, I'm just super inspired by who I'm being, who, who, who I'm being for myself. I'm inspired. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what really... That's what really helps. You have to, you have to be inspired to, to make quantum leaps. But I, I, I want to say something to you um, about inspiration because inspiration will come and go. This will eventually end only if I can keep it, keep it up. Only if I can keep making myself inspired by doing new things, by following my heart, blah, blah, blah. But I build businesses on no inspiration. So they're really, you know, that's not an excuse to say, fuck it. You know, uh, I'm not inspired. I'm not going to take action. That's not an excuse to not take action. Because whether I'm inspired or not, I will take action. I'll do it every single day. Even if I'm not inspired, it doesn't matter how I'm feeling. So I don't want you guys to sit there and say, oh, well, I'm not inspired like him. So, uh you know, blah, blah, blah. No, actually, this is like just fucking momentum built, working six, seven days a week for a very long time. You know, probably since I was like 22, 23. So, I mean, that's eight years, eight years. But what I'm trying to say is it really helps to be, like it really helps to travel it really helps to be in places that ins inspire you. And I actually recently started doing this um, and it's helped me so much. Like it really has. I'm surprised I should have, I should have done this a long time, time ago, but living in a cool spot, like I was living on the beach when I was in St. Pete, I was living on the beach, literally like 20 steps away from the beach. And that shit made me feel so inspired that I could just walk to the beach. And I did walk to the beach. You know, I had a lot of fun out there. So being in, in, in cool environments, traveling, doing new things, you know, I get to hang out at this mall downstairs. It's really cool and it's really fun. And I have a lot of fun when I, when I'm, when I go down there, I can shop, I can drink coffee, I can work down there. i meet new people down there all the time. And, um, I'm inspired, like legit, I'm inspired I'm everywhere around me. I'm just super inspired. But what I'm trying to say is this didn't come overnight. Like I literally been an, an entrepreneur for about eight years and I've done, you know, 150 cold calls a day for like two years. And I, you know, I've literally, I've done a lot of different things because I have um, the experience I can now really enjoy and I know what works a lot of stuff. I know what works and what to do and what not to do. So I have a little bit of wisdom. I don't have a lot, but I have a little bit enough to, for me to be able to travel and, you know, make $2,000 a day, you know, like I said, I don't know if I said it on this video because I've tried to make this video at least three times, but yesterday I made 2.3 K profit. And it's really very common for me to hit $2,000 a day, three or four times a week. So what is that? Two times four, it's 8K. If I make a thousand for those other three days, that's 11K. You know, I really, I really don't ever not hit $1,000 in profit. Now that's because I've built up a customer base and I've been really good to my customers and I have really good lead generators and stuff like that. So 
But, and I have, a, you know, I manage my team very well and we have great systems and that's how we're able to do that, right? Anyways, I just wanted to share with you why I think traveling is one of the best things that you can do for yourself if you're building a business because you need to get out of that rut. You need to get out of that place that you're always at. Whenever you go to the same place, that's why it's like staying home. Okay, l let me talk about a real quick concept. And then I wanna get to, so I'm gonna talk about a real quick concept. And then after that, I'm gonna talk about why I made this video and what I wanna talk about next. And what I'm up to creating next and just remind you, you know, what I got going on. So the concept that I want to talk about is that whenever you, do, whenever, like a lot of times, when you go back to your house, you have consistent negative thoughts. Why? Because you get in a very comfortable place. When you're at your house, you're almost too comfortable. And when you're too comfortable, it's easy to focus on the negative things. So what, it, what ends up happening is people, they go to the same office, they go to the same house all the time. They don't change up their environment. And that's why traveling is such a big deal because you change up your environment. You start seeing new pr perspectives. You start seeing new things. And you kind of like forget about those old neuro pathways, those old roads of bad thinking. And you start going down new ones because you have to sometimes, right? So what ends up happening is people, they stay in their hometown, they stay small. Literally, they stay small because they, they, they stay in what they're used to. And when you travel, you kind of get out of your own, in a way, you kind of get out of your own way. You're not in the same environment. You gotta do new things. You gotta, you know, there's new challenges and your brain is constantly trying to figure out a new problem to solve because it, it has new problems to solve. So that helps you get out of a rut. That can help you get out of a rut and get into a new life, I guess you could say. So traveling is very important and I highly suggest it if you're building a business. If you already have a business that you can run from your phone yourself, I would highly suggest that you go and um, travel straight up. Um, and if you can't travel, like if you can't travel for a month at a time like I can, or maybe I can travel for the rest of the year if I want, then I would suggest going for like two or three weeks and then eventually like testing out, oh shit, I gotta stay one more week and then see what happens with all the problems that you have in your business with you not being there. What do you have to do? What do you actually have to do so that crucial things get done? So anyways, what I'm why I'm saying that is because whenever you like whenever like whenever you travel and you're away from your business wherever that location is, there's things that you have to be there for. So what ends up happening is you find new ways to not actually be in that location, whether it's, I don't know, maybe you hire somebody new to do what you do there or, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know. You have a new system where you're able to monitor your business better from anywhere on your computer, blah, blah, blah. You know, you have new problems, so you have to fix new problems. You have to find new solutions. So um, that's why I like traveling too. I mean, you literally have to like readjust in your business. Like I had to readjust when I came out here um, with things. I could think of multiple things right now that I had to readjust because I came out here. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, listen, I'm going to... Um, finalize this video because I kind of all over the place because uh, I've had a really productive day today anyway. And I just, yeah, I just feel super inspired by life in general. But guys, listen, 
So I'm gonna be making a virtual assistant course. And this course is a general course. I'm gonna talk about how to hire, fire, and manage virtual assistants. And um, so if you're a business owner that you want to start letting go of control, this is something that could very much help you. Uh, it is crucial that you get to a point in your business where you're delegating the small tasks and focusing on the higher tasks and giving your time, giving yourself the time back. And at the same time, paying whoever you hire well so that they do a good job and they keep doing a good job. But it's crucial that you eventually hire out things that should be delegated that are, you know, th uh, things that you can duplicate, right? And that's what I've been successfully able to do. Like literally the first couple hours of the day, I just do meditation, workout, and um, just depends on where I am. Here, I've been working out super early. I'll go grab coffee uh, at the Starbucks here. Um, I'll hang out, I'll shop, um, you know. So I do all those things now because I can't. Um, you know, I've created systems in my business to where I can do that stuff now. But, and that's what I've been able to, that is what I've been able to create uh, as I have done this, as I've traveled as I've created systems, I've been able to do that. And I just wanna really just give the, this gift to other business owners. Like you don't even have to, you know, you don't even have to flip diabetic products. You could use this for any business, right? Literally. So I'm gonna make a general course on how to hire, fire, and manage. And you can kind of use it to your own business and then, um, uh, and then see what happens. But the biz, the, the course is gonna cost like $400. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a highly needed course because I don't think there's a really a course out there that uh, helps you hire, fire, and manage employees. So that's what I'm up to. Guys, listen, if you flip diabetic products, or you wanna flip diabetic products, I have a mastermind where people make you know thousands of dollars uh, a day. And um, the techniques that I use, you know, I'm able to make $2,000 a day often in the week and outsource a lot of things. And that mastermind, you know, I, uh, I teach a lot of the marketing techniques, how to manage your business, and basically all the things that I wish I would have known in the beginning. And very advanced level shit, you know, very advanced level shit. And we have a lot of advanced perks too um, in our business uh, in the mastermind because we have the best buyers and we negotiate the best prices because we, uh, you know, we have a, our mastermind is very powerful in the diabetic product flipping space. So, um, you know, we get the best prices on products in general. Um, anyways, so there's that. There's the mastermind for the, di the diabetic products. There's the course for 400. That's a basic course. It's got some advanced level local uh, marketing techniques. And then the third one is I'm, go I'm going to uh, create a virtual assistant course. Hire, fire, and manage. Get your time back, business owners. This could be for any business, but this will help you get your time back so you can focus on, one, focus on higher income activities. Two, uh, spend time with family, friends, and loved ones. And three, this is one of the biggest ones. Spend time with yourself. Spend time doing hobbies for yourself. What do you want to do? What, what did you like to do when you were a kid that you stopped doing? What was it? You know, really, what was it? For me, when I started working a lot, I started not working out a lot. 
and I love being athletic. I love it. So I treat myself like an athlete now, like I'm very into health. And when I was younger, I did that too. But as I got older and I started focusing on uh, the, my business is, the businesses that I started, I started to forget about what do I actually like to do. And that's what I wanna, that's what I wanna give you guys. Um, so, gonna end the video right now. Hope you guys have a great day, thank you.